Hello, friends. I uh, This is probably take five or six of me trying to record a little video for you showing you how to use Zoom to share your, to do a screencast. Um, Zoom is probably the easiest way to do it. And um, it's something that you have available to you free through App State. Um, right now, I am not, I'm in, I, I have Zoom pulled up. You can see that it says Zoom meeting over here, and when I move the mouse, you see the Zoom buttons down here. But I'm actually making the recording in Screencast-O-Matic so that uh, I can record myself using Zoom. It's a little bit tricky. I've never tried to do this before, but hopefully it will be helpful for some of you. So um, I'm going to start by showing you how to uh, get to the Appalachian Zoom license. So I'm going to click. This is the same thing you'll do when you're trying to teach something. You click Share Screen then zoom will give you lot i have lots of screens open and i have two monitors so i have screen one and screen two there's always a whiteboard in zoom you can use there's an ipad iphone way option i'm not sure what this oh this is the uh the uh screencast-o-matic frame then uh here's my notes for making the video uh, here is what i was going to teach you how to create an account in ebay another uh, the the, the uh, browser where I have launched Zoom from, uh, another Google Chrome thing, my Teams calendar from work. I have a file open with my files, my window. I have a window open that shows all my files, and then uh, something from Screencast-O-Matic. Anyway, um, you can either choose your screen. In my case, I would choose screen one if that's what I wanted to do, because that's where my picture is. Or you can choose the specific app that you want to show. So I'm going to show uh, the Google Chrome, the piece of software that I need to show you right now is Google Chrome. So I'm going to pick that. And then an important thing for you to note is that when you're using Zoom, if there's a video or if there is sound that you want the audience, the, the listeners, the watchers, the viewers to hear, you need to click this little box down here that says share sound. Um, we forget to do this all the time in my meetings if there's a little video you want to share with your team and then we have to stop share and go back and click this box so if you need to share sound you would click this box i don't need to share sound there's also this advanced feature where you can share just a portion of the zoom screen and hopefully i will be able to show that to you in a minute but let's go back to basic and i'm going to pick this Chrome browser, because that's what I want to show you, and click Share. So I have it open to how to create an account on eBay, but I want to Google, and this was all you need to do, and look, it remembers, because I've asked it this before. I want to Google Appalachian Zoom. I hit Enter, and it brings up the first link is App State's Zoom license, and then you can see on the page, you can choose Join a Meeting, Start a Meeting, or down here, this button that we're not seeing very well is login. So I'm going to click login. Now, because I'm already logged in, it, it went right to my profile because I'm using Zoom right this minute. But you would have to fill out your App State credentials, your uh, your email address, and your App State password, and it would take you right to Zoom. And then you can start a meeting and depending on how well you're logged into your browser you might be able to just click the start the meeting and be right there so i'm going to stop sharing for a minute go back to explaining zoom so we're back to me and here's zoom um the up here you'll see that it tells us we're in the zoom meeting um this is important down here that you choose the right microphone i have uh my computer my system has several microphones uh, well, three, two microphones and several speakers. And uh, I had to make sure I picked the right speaker so that I can hear it when it's playing or when people are talking on Zoom. And then uh, it match, it realized which microphone I need. I didn't have to pick it. So that might work for you too. Then the other thing is the video. You can, um, I have more than one video because I use a laptop connected to two monitors so the laptop always stays closed. So I have a US, this is the integrated camera means the camera built into your laptop. 
I also have a USB video device, and that's what we're using to, to record this right now. So you make sure you get those set up correctly. If you want a virtual background, you click there, and then I have a Christmas background. I have my North Carolina Community College System Office background that I'm required to use. And then I have this background for App State in the Snow that I use for my App State videos, which is what you can see. That, so the two buttons that we're going to be using the most to make a screen casting video is share screen and record. Now, one of the takes when I made this, uh, the, re the, the buttons disappeared. I had to pause and come back and then I just gave up and started over, but hopefully we'll get it to work this time. So let's, um, you would just go to share screen and I mostly already taught you this and then pick what you want to share. If you want to share just a portion, which is often a good idea, because, um, and you're not, yeah, you are seeing this. Are you seeing this? Yes, you're seeing this. Um, it's really tricky to do, use two web conferencing systems at the same time, <laughs> or two uh, recording systems at the same time. You can see this. So under advanced, you can pick portion of screen, and I'm going to show you. It's better, it's often better to not use the whole screen because if you're wanting to show something small to everybody uh, that you're making the video for, it, the smaller you can make your original recording, the better, because when it plays, it'll be stretched out. Um, so if you've already stretched it all the way out, it's going to be pretty small on the video that people watch. So I'm going to choose portion of screen and click share. And then I wanted you to see this. See how there's a green box? You can adjust that box so that, like, I'm going to make sure that my app, my uh, Chrome browser, fits into that box. And I haven't started recording yet um, in Zoom. So I've just got my box set up to to share just this part of the screen. So on Zoom, all you're going to see is the uh, uh, that Chrome browser. And then there are my buttons, which kept disappearing, got a little frustrating. And for some reason, because my screen is so small, it doesn't show the record button up there, but you see them at the top of the screen, right? But over here, where there's these three ellipses, that means more. And this is where I will tell what I want to record. So you have two choices. You record to the cloud or record on this computer. In my job, I always record to the cloud because I'm not always at the same computer and I want to be able to retrieve the recording from wherever I am. But for this assignment, you probably want to record on your computer because it will automatically, when we're done with the, the recording, just download it to your computer and um, you will be able to find it in your downloads or maybe in a Zoom file. So we're going to choose, <coughs> excuse me, record on this computer. And now it's telling me that I'm screen sharing. You see this tiny little red button that's flashing? That means I'm recording. If I had the screen bigger, that button would also be up here bigger and easier for you to see. But it's a, it, we know that it's recording right now. So now I'm recording. I would um, go to what you could have this set up in advance, like I meant to. Um, you, I want to teach you how to create an account in eBay. So I would go to ebay.com and click register. Then I would walk you through the process of making an account on eBay. You can decide whatever you is you want to teach us, but you do have to teach us something, and it has to be something that you can screen record. So that's really all there is to it. You, I'm going to stop um, recording on Zoom. I'm going to stop sharing. Oh, and I, I don't think that you saw me, but I've been on Zoom. I've been running because I have my video on. I'm running in a little window on the right in the top right hand corner. And um, that's a personal choice. If you don't want to be in the window, you can go back to your buttons up here and stop the video and then you can talk and share your screen without being seen. I don't particularly like being videotaped, but I like to connect with the audience. So I usually do video with my face, my picture, so that the, the viewers know who's talking and can maybe make some connection with me. 
So anyway, so we would stop. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. And then I am going to show you how to stop the recording. So you see down here, now since I stopped sharing, the buttons have moved back down to the bottom. It tells us up here still that it's recording because we're still recording in Zoom. And I can either pause or stop the recording. I'm going to stop it now. And a little file came up that you can't see because it, and I can't move it. Maybe I can move my screen. You see that? It says the recorded file will be converted to MP4 when the meeting ends. So once we, once I end the Zoom meeting, it's going to convert um, the video recording into an MP4. So let's go ahead and end the meeting. And you're going to see what pops up. Just a second. Convert meeting recording. So because this is a relatively short meeting, it's going to do this pretty quickly. Um, when I record three hour web rec trainings or very long trainings, it doesn't do this quickly. It takes some time, but we'll have it done in just a few seconds and you'll be able to see where the file goes. So it actually lets you decide where you want to put the file. Um, I have it. I, my zoom files all go in here, but for this, let's say I just want to put this file on the desktop so it's easier to see. So I click desktop, I click OK, and then, then it pops up, and somewhere in here it says Zoom. So I found my video file. It's in my desktop as I asked for it, and it's just called video. And um, if I click on that, it brings it up. Put on this computer. In a in my and now it's telling me that I'm screen sharing. In my automatic player, you see this tiny little red button that's flashing. And now you probably can't hear it if because I, I didn't video, share this with the audio. Be up here bigger and uh, the computer face. audio, but I am but talking. And now we're we watching a recording of my recording. So on, now I'm recording I would, on Zoom, uh, which is a little freaky. Go to what I'm going to close it out in advance. And um, that's really the end. Um, the next step is for you to upload it to YouTube. So let me see if I can show you how to do that on YouTube. Um, there are two schools of thought on um, where you should put it on YouTube. I, when I was a student, always wanted to put it on my personal YouTube account so that I would have access to it later. Uh, some App State professors prefer that you have it on your App State account. I don't care. It's up to you. You just have to make sure that um, when you share it with me that I have access or that anyone with the link has access. Oh, no thanks. Hopefully I can remember my account, my password. Yay, so I remembered my password. Now we're going to go to um, my channel. I think go to your channel and then there's this little video camera icon up here this is how you add a video you upload a video to YouTube and then this pops up and I select the file I want to upload and I put it on my desktop so I need to find that video open it and then you see how it's moving youtube is moving it up i'm going to call it zoom tutorial take five and uh click next oh let's see what else we need to do i'm not gonna you could upload a little picture it'll pick one for you you don't have to do that um you always have to say whether it's made for kids or not mine is not made for kids but it doesn't need to be age restricted you click next um, it will probably add subtitles, I think. I don't, it doesn't look like I have to click that. Um, I'm not going to add an end screen or card, so I click Next. It's seeing if I have any copyrighted content, but of course I don't. I just created this myself. Click Next. And then here is what is the important part. You want to choose Unlisted. That means that anyone who you share your link with can watch the video, but that 
the average person in the world can't Google and find your video. Now, if you want it to be public, you can make it public. But it typically, in the classic room situations, we make them unlisted. And you can even schedule the day you want it to go public. But I think that I've got it all right. I clicked unlisted. I'm going to click save. And now it is being published. I can click this button to get the YouTube share um, hyperlink. I copied it. And then I can, um, that's about it. You're done. You've gotten it up to YouTube. Now it'll take a few minutes. It says it's going to take a couple minutes before it's live on YouTube. So you come back and you look for it. And I think I've covered everything that I wanted to tell you about how to create a video using Zoom, how to create a screencast using Zoom. If you have any question, come to the Monday night office hours and we can play with Zoom there too. Thanks. Bye.